How's it going out there, American truckers? I hope all y'all are doing great. Um, currently in uh, Kansas City, Missouri at our Kansas City terminal. Fixing to get a PM done on the truck, a couple other little things done. Then I'm gonna pick up my load and head towards the house, which those of you that watch my channel on a regular basis will be happy to know I'm gonna be working out some things so that I can get better sound quality on my videos. Anyway, excuse the blue thing around my neck. I get tired of forgetting my mask and still some places require it. And I just don't feel like fighting with nobody. So if I walk up on a place and they require it, I just pull it up, you know, nothing to it. Anyway, a little update on Creek Carriers. I told you I would do one every month or so since I've been here. Uh, as y'all know, a couple weeks ago, I got a little jacked up on the Walmart fleet. Not my thing, but hey, I tried to help out. Crete made it right though. They got me off the fleet. Got some good miles, made up a little bit for what I lost during the time I was on that fleet. But um, not only that, I got some good news. I think the day before, day before you get, or Friday, Thursday or Friday, they sent out a message to let everybody know they're gonna be raising the pay. Man, it's gonna sound crazy, but I haven't been able to really keep up with the pay raises because they've been coming kind of quickly. But um, as y'all know, freight's paying more. So Crete's passing a little bit of that on to the drivers. Um, pay's pretty good as it is. You know, uh, 80 to 85 is the, is the norm. Uh, with this new pay increase, it'll bring everybody up, you know, should do around 87 and the good drivers that know how to work their clock and stay busy, they should be around 90,000 a year. Um, starting pay is now 59 cents a mile. And depending on your experience and what fleet you select, it can pay up to 65 cents a mile. Obviously OTR drivers make the most. Um, the more you're home, the less you make just the way it works. That's just the way it works here anyway. Uh, OTR is your 21 day fleet, maybe 21 days out, and then uh, three or four days home. Those guys make the most amount of money. The more you sacrifice, the more Crete's gonna pay you. That's the fleet I'm on. I enjoy it. Um, I'm never late getting home. I get home when I'm supposed to get home. Uh, Michelle's my asset manager. She's awesome. Um, She's been pretty great over the years. I've dealt with her a few different times. Uh, she seems to always be my asset manager when I'm here. To be honest with you, I hardly ever call my asset manager. You don't need them for anything. Um, maybe twice a month, something comes up and I'll call her, you know, to get something straight. But other than that, I hardly ever call her. Your asset manager doesn't give you your loads. You know, for all you drivers that do work here at Crete that think your asset manager gives you your loads. Unless you're on a dedicated fleet, your asset manager doesn't give you your loads. Your loads comes from uh, planners. Those people you don't hardly talk to unless they just happen to reach out to you for some reason or another, have a problem with the load or something. Um, but yeah, everything's been going great. Just wanted to update everybody, let everybody know it's not gonna be a long video. Um, as y'all know, Creep pays practical miles and not zip code miles. We get address to address miles. Uh, that in itself is about a 5% increase. I myself, I've done it before when I didn't know any better. You know, I worked for Stevens Transport at one time years ago and they pay zip code to zip code. But to me, after thinking about it, it doesn't make sense of why I ever did it. I'll never know. Um, it'd be like going to work Let's say, let's say you work at a warehouse and they're paying you by the hour. When you get paid zip code to zip code, it's like going to the warehouse, working for the first hour for free and the last hour for free, because that's basically what you're doing. You're working for free. You know, when you pick up your load, you're not, your miles don't start till you get to the edge of the zip code you picked up in. So you're working for free. When you go to deliver your load, your miles end when you enter the zip code or wherever you go to deliver at, you're working for free. Um, when you get paid practical miles, which there's a few companies out here that pay practical miles, Creek's not the only one. Um, you get paid address to address. 
so you're never working for free. How companies have been able to get away with paying zip code to zip code and haven't gotten sued for all the free miles they're getting, I don't really know, but some companies do. I guess as long as drivers keep going there and drivers keep doing it, I guess they'll keep doing it. Anyway, hope everybody out there staying safe. Man, uh, winter seems to be co coming to an end throughout most of the country. Wind's been up pretty bad here in the KC area, if you're in the Kansas City, Missouri area today. Um, March the 29th, the wind is up pretty high. Um, anyway, if y'all see me in a truck stop, hit me up. Tell old Snapper what's going on. That's my CB handle, by the way, it's a Snapper or Old Snapper. Uh, it's also what most people call me. It's what most people call me back home as well. Um, I look forward to seeing y'all out there on the road. Uh, it's really good. Some of the positive messages I get, I really enjoy. Y'all take care, stay safe, and keep trucking.